Welcome everybody, Chlorine King here. I'll show you quickly how to change out this dead IntelliClor with the new iClor salt system without having to do any replumbing. It's a very simple process, so let's go ahead and show you the parts list. All right guys, here's a small parts list. You need the iClor 30 itself, you need the IntelliClor adapter, you need the O-rings for the unions, and of course a magic loop for the O-rings. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and shut the pump off and then go ahead and undo these unions. Old one is now removed. All right, so now we're just gonna connect the IntelliClor piece, uh, adapter, connector part to the new iClor. So you wanna take this O-ring right here and lube it. I've already went ahead and pre-lubed it for you guys. And now we just connect it just like that. Make it nice and snug. Hand tight only, no need for channel locks. Now, this is the same length as the old IntelliClor. So now we can move on to the next step. All right guys, now it's time to go ahead and put the cell back in. Before you do that, you wanna lube these O-rings and replace them. Don't be cheap, just replace them. This was very old and when I went to remove the O-rings, I had a bunch of black on my fingers, so definitely time to replace them. Pay attention to the flow. This is pointing up. This is going back to the pool, so we're gonna orientate it this way. Now the tricky part, this O-ring that's in here always tries to fall out, so I usually get that one put in first. And then we follow up with this one. Get them nice, and again, nice and hand tight. No need for channel locks. So. There we go. Now it's in, ready to be plugged in. So we got it all plugged in and turned on. Everything's working well. Uh, we didn't finalize the zip tying yet because we want to make sure everything's good. There's no leaks here and everything's working as it should. So that is how you replace an IntelliClor with a brand new iClor from Pentair. Have a great day, everyone.